everyone, I hope this video finds you well and rested and enjoying your day. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Christopher and I am so happy that you're joining us. If you like lifestyle, luxury, product reviews, skincare, planning and organization, look no further, my friend, because this place is for you. So go ahead right now and click that little red subscribe button. And if you're joining me here, go ahead and hop on over to my Instagram and subscribe there as well. I'll leave my Instagram handle right here on the screen. I would love to get to connect with you over there and I answer and respond to every comment, whether it is on my YouTube, or my Instagram, and we are a fast growing community. But today I am bringing you a very exciting, exciting video, and it is my first dabbling into bullet journaling. Now, there's a little bit of a story that goes along with this. We were recently in Amsterdam, and while we were at a Starbucks near the train station, I saw a woman bullet journaling and I literally watched her for a good 10 to 15 minutes and I was so intrigued by it. Every evening I was watching YouTube videos of bullet journaling and decided that I needed to give it a try because I've really been struggling lately to find planner peace. For those who know my backstory and have watched my planner videos, I've used the Louis Vuitton GM Desk Agenda MMPM. I've been in a Hobonichi. I recently went back to the Kiki K ring bound system and I just can't find something that is giving me the creativity that I want and that I'm just not finding that planner piece that we're all looking for. So I decided while we were in Amsterdam to buy the Lech term, I'm probably saying that wrong, 1917. It's the bullet journal of all bullet journals according to YouTube and decided to give it a try starting the month of May. So I have been working really, really hard to set this up to see how I like it. And I will tell you, I have never had more fun setting up a planner than I have with this one. I feel like it's allowed me to be creative. I feel like it's allowed me to make it exactly what I want. And I am by no means a calligrapher or a great handwriter or great artist, but I'm really, really enjoying this process. So this video is all about how I set up the beginning of my bullet journal, as well as my first week in May. So let's go ahead and dive in. So here's my Lecture 1917 bullet journal. Like I said, it's the bullet journal of all bullet journals. You'll see I took my embossing label maker and just put Christopher 2017. That was truly inspired by Lily Pebbles. She has a great YouTube channel and some really great insight into bullet journaling. I will definitely leave her linked down below. Let's go ahead and dive into the setup. So the first page in my bullet journal is clearly the index. If you're familiar with bullet journaling, you know that the index is really important. Important. Sadly, mine is not completely updated, but will be doing so. And then you can see here is my key. So I have things for task, events, appointments, notes and reminders, urgent and important, ideal and inspiration, email call, look up, buy, and then status symbols for started, completed, cancel, if it migrates to another day, and if it is scheduled. Then you dive into my future log. This was where I really dove in to some fun handwriting and really getting myself used to this whole concept of getting all the creative juices flowing. So in my future log, you'll see that I have the rest of the calendar for 2017. And right here, I just wrote, follow your arrow, because that is a great quote and one that I like to live by. Here are the rest of the months for the 2017 year. And I just said, your future looks bright. And I kept it really simple. Here, I'm just playing with this idea of cursive and trying to get better at it. Next, I made a page to track my YouTube subscribers because I'm really bad at keeping track of when I'm hitting milestones so I want to do a better job and clearly I'm already not because we are already at 6400 so I'm really excited and when I started setting this up we weren't even at 6,000 yet so we are growing quickly the next page is my Instagram followers so here is where I fill in when I meet milestones for Instagram and then on the next page, I wanted to be able to get to a double page layout again. So I simply filled it with something important to me and resonates with me and that's be the change you hope to see in the world. So I thought I'd put it into like a little bit of a globe format. Once again, get to play with my handwriting. I do everything in pencil first and I really like how it turned out. My May habit tracker. So I just simply wrote that at the top, wrote out the days of the week and the date, and then wrote what I wanted to keep track of. For me, it's meditation 
meditate, work out, eat healthy, hydrate, read. I'm going to try no spend days. <laughs> As you all know on my channel, I'm not very good at it. Tidying up 15 minute clean sweeps of the house, disconnecting from the internet and my phone, random acts of kindness, and just calling someone random, whether it's a friend or a family member I haven't talked to, I want to make it a point, especially after the loss of my grandfather this past week, um, to do a better job keeping in touch with family. The next page is where I keep my YouTube ideas for May. I'm going to keep those private so you have somewhat of a surprise. Next is my bookshelf, and I just found a quote that says, reading gives us some place to go when we have to stay where we are. And I simply drew out a bookshelf and a little like succulent cactus little design over here. And this is where I'm gonna draw the spines of the actual books that I read the month of May. And so I have this really cool living and ever-changing bookshelf and I can look back on it and see what I read in that month. Then I have my goals page. It always seems impossible until it is done. That is a Nelson Mandela quote that I love and these are my goals for the month of May and it's about working out and meeting step goals and different random acts of kindness goals and YouTube subscription goals. And then my next page, you all know that gratitude is incredibly important to me. So I have the days of the month where I can write down what I am grateful for. Next I have May I Doodle. I decided to play, because I love a good pun, with the month of May. And this is where I'm gonna put doodles of borders or lettering or graphics that I wanna add into next month's bullet journal or the next week. Just things that I don't wanna forget that I see, whether it's on a YouTube video or Tumblr or Instagram, just a place to log all those doodles. Next I have a purchase page for May. This is where I could keep track of everything I bought in the month. It's a really great place to log what I bought that month. Month, I thought this would really help when creating my May favorites. I can look back and say, these are the things I bought and they're the things that I really loved and used. So I'm excited to really, really keep this going and really commit to filling out this page. The next is my mood tracker. And I just wrote, how are you feeling this month? I have three ranges of moods and I will simply plot each day where it is and then connect the dots as I go. And then we get into the weekly spread. And I decided that I'm gonna give each spread a theme. And this week's theme is crystals because I really love crystals. You guys know I put them all over my home. And I decided for myself that my daily spread could be very simple. So what I simply did was to go from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. And I can just fill in what's happening during those times. I made sure to leave space so I can do the half hour as well a running to-do list where I will use all those status symbols that I used in the key, and then breakfast, lunch, and dinner so I have my meals planned for the week. And as I went throughout the week, I simply added some crystals and played with this idea of using cursive to create the lines for the week. And that, my friends, is my first attempt at bullet journaling. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I also hope that it inspired you to start bullet journaling. If you decide to do it, please take photos and tag me over on Instagram so we can share our layouts together. I will be posting a lot of my setups and spreads over on Instagram as well. So once again, don't forget to follow me over there. In the meantime, I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.